Yeah. Well, the first time I heard uh, Eusqueda was probably in 2008. I had just moved in with uh, some roommates in Madrid where I was studying at the time, and we shared the same type, we shared the same interests in music, and uh, Berri Charrak came up in, uh, in, in our music uh, conversations, and later in the year 2009, we went to uh, Torturok to go see Berri Charrak. That was the first time I experienced uh, Euskera. Uh, los escuché por primera vez como en el 2006, 2007, cuando estaba en high school aquí. Pues me gusta como cantan siempre en Euskera y, y pues sí, me gusta su música de ellos. One of my top three favorite things about the band is that they only sing in Basque. Singing their uh, native tongue is more passionate and like it just comes out like deeper and overall uh, on a historical level they'll last longer, have a, a deeper meaning. I think that's more important than a couple record sales. As a band you probably get less recognition maybe if you're a, a, a lesser known language, singing in a lesser known language. You have to have strong character to only be singing in your own language, knowing that a lot of people may not even understand it or take time to learn the language. So. Y pues han tenido bastante éxito no solo aquí sino en más partes del mundo. Yo he seguido su trayectoria desde hace años y pues van a o sea otros lugares de Europa. No nomás vienen a Estados Unidos o no nomás solo tienen éxito en España o en el País Vasco. Y han ido a, como por ejemplo a Japón y más lugares. O fuera en inglés no te sorprendería, pero como es en euskera me it was my studies in Euskara that kind of led me to learn a little bit more about some of our own languages here in the Americas that are uh, uh, minority languages and don't get a lot of support from the state and from uh, uh, countries as well. I knew there was a separate language and a distinct culture and uh, it had a long, beautiful history, an important history. The, yeah, the vocality, the tone, it, it's so unique, but for me, it's seeing the language is even more spectacular. There, we can say, you know, Esqueragasco. Language, yeah, connects us to our past, our ancestors, and it's also about our future and our pride as a people, so it's very important that that language survives and thrives, and, uh, and we learn how to speak it. So next time I'm in uh, Pamplona, I'm going to take some language lessons. The celebration of, of languages that are underrepresented, underutilized, need to be preserved, need to be celebrated, need to be um, acknowledged. I think it's very important to preserve the culture. We're becoming so whitewashed with everybody hearing and seeing the same thing through the internet to hold something unique. I don't know, it's just, I, I, I think it's important.